John Brooks. Hi, everybody. The Cowboys have their second victory of the season and another ho-hum affair against Tulsa. This series just marks out Pat like it always is, just uh, nothing exciting, just another final play of the game, hanging on, you get a victory. Is this series amazing? And amazing is probably putting it mildly. I, I think the thing about it is and you try to get ready for it, and this the last three of these, the last time over here, we knocked down a pass yeah. two years ago in the other end zone. Last year, we sack them going in when they got a chance to, to do something, and this year, they take a shot at the end zone, the last play of the ball game. So, oh, yeah, I, I, it, it's that type of series. I mean, it, it, was, it was an interesting ball game. I don't know if it's a very well-played ball game particularly, but it was certainly an interesting one. Exactly. From the fans' standpoint, Marvelous. From your standpoint, some things that you definitely want to see improve. Oh, we've got to get better in a lot of areas. I think the Tulsa kids, uh, you know, did some nice things. And of course, we ran for over 300 yards too. And all honesty, probably should have put the ball game away well before the last play of the ball game. Well, we're going to look at the ball game. We're going to find out what happens, and it's just around the corner on the Pat Jones Show. Over 46,000 in Stillwater as the Cowboys hosted Tulsa on Saturday night. Nice crowd for this one. Really was, John. I think our student body, I thought, sometimes I feel these things. You can kind of tell sometimes you don't pay much attention to it. But I thought our crowd, the student body was there early. It seemed like they were really revved up and ready to go. I thought it was a great crowd that was very much into the ball game. Might have been the difference. That might be the home, probably is the, the home field advantage. But I, I thought our guys were ready to play. We were a little bit concerned perhaps of being a little bit flat coming off that close loss down to Baylor, which was a fairly emotional ball game. But, uh, you know, we start out here in, in pretty good shape. Uh, loss and miss hits the – really hits up under the kickoff. Uh, we get down there and cover it. I think our coverage units continue to do a nice job. They open the ball game and, and, and run a bootleg. Now, again, we get a face mask right there, James. We got a couple of – and that's just kind of an effort penalty. It wasn't malicious or anything else. We got a, that and, and a couple on the sideline for some late hit stuff, again, that I did not think was flagrant, but we got to do a better job of, of that sort of thing. Saw there now with this no huddle offense, it's talked about so much uh, that Tulsa has, and uh, we're not going to see what they do at the line of scrimmage each time. Solomon White running here, but uh, uh, normally they take a little time. There uh, you get a pull back, and we get a chance to see this fumble uh, in the uh, the replay. Well, again, they, their guard just knocks like he knocks the ball out of the kid's hands. The, this no huddle stuff, what it does is, is, is tries, they try to control the tempo of the ball game with that and kind of keep you off balance a little bit, plus see what you're going to line up in and, and then flash uh, uh, plays from the sideline. Yeah, we fumble right back. Thompson, the first fumble we've lost in a pretty good while yeah. by a running back. 17 we, quarters. Yeah, and we, and we uh, now we give them the ball back. They get it to run the little shuffle pass, don't make anything. He throws this one. Trent Fisher, nice interception. Good job of stepping in front of that. Let's take care of that ball. Now, we've, we've got it right back, so there was an exchange of turnovers. Say it started off kind of ragged, in all honesty, for them and us both. But good, good job, Trent. Uh, we've got the ball at, at midfield uh, for as much rushing yardage as we ended up with. That's probably the most disappointing thing from our standpoint. You run for over 300 yards, in all honesty, you probably ought to to win a little bit more convincingly. See, we block below the waist to take away a nice gain there. Get in the shotgun and run the handoff. Uh, kind of a half draw looking thing to Joe Jefferson, make a first down, come out, run a quick game. Uh, don't hit very much. We have got to get better at our throwing game. We look terribly ragged, I thought, throughout the night. I don't think it was just simply Tony's fault. I think it's probably everybody's fault to a degree. This is fourth and one. We try to sneak in and don't make it. Well, when this occurred, it kind of spooked us a little bit on the sidelines as far as trying to pick up some other short yardage things. Now. Tulsa failed to move, so we come right back to your offense again. You had them out on, on three points. Well, and we, we overthrow the tight end in the flat. Now, we come back with a screen to Joe Jefferson. I thought Joe really played well. He played well against these guys last year. Uh, had an awfully good night here. This is pretty well executed. Tony flips it out here to Joe. He makes a guy miss him. Nice job, Alan Orts, with blocking. Again, Jefferson from fullback. I don't remember what his stats were, but he, had a, he, he and Jeff Grenier, the other fullback, had a nice night. I thought really overall as far as I think our offensive line as a unit probably played about as well as, 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 as I've seen them. Again, we, uh, we, Baylor was better than these people, but uh, I thought we played with them. I think one of the best things Tony did 
uh, was was run and make some yardage when we had some things covered. Now we missed that corner route a couple mm -hmm. times. Tony's going to run later on and make a nice game, but this is where we just got to get a little bit better at throwing and catching the ball. I thought his decision making process was plenty good. Now we just got to go ahead and execute. It's the first ball game they don't make anything there. The first game we really have not gotten a big play out of our throwing game. Well, Langford's in all over everybody all day. Well, I'll say this. They did, they did a pretty nice job here, of, of, in which we've seen them do this before with that shuffle pass, is, is to take advantage of, of, of Langford in something fairly easy for the freshman quarterback to execute. But here's Javon, and, and they, we, they get block, block clip or some kind of thing here, and, and we force an overthrow and, and have gotten them stopped. So they, they made one first down. We're going to get it every time Andre Richardson gets his hands on the ball. Something interesting is fixing to happen here. We had a couple of, of nice returns. They actually had a big one later on that gets called back because we pushed a guy in the back or something. Okay, here's David Thompson. Again, I can see as this season continues to unfold, obviously as Andre gets better, now you're into a little bit more of a rotation with the two tailbacks, which we've done before when we had the, obviously the truly great ones here in Thomas and Sanders and when they're both together that one year. But do this sort of thing. Now, here comes Tony on a bootleg. We get pressure from the outside. This He's got enough run belt. He has not got great speed, but he's got more than adequate speed. So when something breaks down, he can give you take a, a, a kind of a busted play and take it and make something. That's a good job of not throwing it where, where you should not throw it. Tuck yeah, it up and run it. What was the call right there? Well, he's he, just going to throw it. Yeah, it, it was a pass. It was a bootleg pass. They We got pressure up the field. He did a nice job of turning and running. There was a crease, and he's got enough running ability to accelerate in there and make a nice gain. So it was a call pass, but it, I, I thought the best thing he did again is not try to throw it where you ought not to try to throw it. Tuck it and run it, get what you can. He's got enough ability to, to, to make some things. They turn around, now get the ball. We've made it, we can tackle a little bit better here. Uh, got him in fairly good field position. The end of the quarter, we've got a lead. They ran the ball a little bit more effectively than, than I would have thought. Yes, they did, and, and to their credit, they, they do some couple nice things scheme-wise. We get an interference call right here. They get off down in here, but scheme-wise, they, they, which they had done before, done some things that, that gave us a little bit of a problem, did a nice job. It's Caswell, number 11, is a good, good little receiver. Boy, he's a competitive little old guy. He's got some good speed. Uh, they throw the ball in there, kick the extra point. Now it's it's tied at seven, so so it, it's, it's got again the makings of, of a typical ball game. They've got it back down there on our end of the field now. And we skip a couple of plays, and then here's your interception here because uh, both of you turned it over against each other. Okay, Johnny Jones, nice interception. Johnny's having a good year. I think both of our corners are playing pretty good. Nice play on Johnny Jones's part. Okay, we come in. Uh, David Thompson jumps outside with it. Nice game. He had again 148 yards for the evening. Here's Andre Richardson, the other tailback. Uh, you can see him romping, stomping. He gets better every snap he gets. Now we're back in with Thompson. You can see we're alternating this. David runs through a tackle. Uh, see, we jump in the shotgun. This is this is right prior to the half. We wanted to take a shot at the end zone. We jump in the shotgun. Exactly. So now you have to hustle. That's your exactly out. right. We had had a timeout that was taken. Thought there was an injury situation, right. and, and we had to use a timeout we didn't want to use. Now we missed the field right prior to half and going at tied at seven. That was that really was a key right there. You had a chance. You could have brought your field goal team out, you know, under a little more relaxed conditions. Well, again, we it was a funny thing. The official and we're usually pretty good with time management. That came out and, and, and charged us with a timeout. It wasn't really anybody's error on any part. But as we'll see later on, that was fairly costly. Those three points we sure could have used. Exactly. We're back to look at the second half in just a moment. Tied at seven, heading to the third quarter and. Coaches say third quarter is so important right out of the, the gun, and you take the football and do something with Well, Andre Richardson, again, and we keep throwing his name out, he takes the thing, just takes charge, and this again is the true freshman, returns the second half kickoff on our side of the field. He's a gamer. I mean, even in the early stages of his career, you know, some guys just kind of got a knack for doing things. Yeah, and some don't. I mean, apparently this guy does, and like we said before, he's really going to be a good player. David Thompson, good effort here. Uh, not much. We we do a pretty good job. Tony does a nice job on this option of jumping outside, and don't get don't just get over and flip that Tony ball around now. But uh, get down in there. Here's a nice job, Jeff Grenier. So we're doing everything that you want to do at the at the outset of the second half. Other than we get down in here and get stopped instead of seven, we end up getting three. Uh, Tulsa does stiffen. Here we come back and, and, and run the counter play again. And, and, and David kind of gets hung up in behind our offensive lineman and mm -hmm. can't really make a cut. So we come back out here. Here's the uh, third down play. And, and we thought we could pop that, get down in there close. There was a little, a little bit of debate 
on whether to go for that. But again, I was a little bit concerned because we had not made one earlier. We wanted to go ahead and get something on the board. We come in and kick it to 10 to 7. Got a, uh, and have done a nice job right at the start of the second half. They come out and bounce one to the outside. It's like I say, I, the, they did a nice job of some things, and it, it, it was a little bit of a concern that they were as effective running the ball on us as, as, the, as they were. Uh, the times that, that Tulsa's had success against us, they've been able to run the ball with, with here's Lawson, I mean, uh, Javon Langford again is all over. But I think throughout the course of the night that Tulsa did a nice job of not asking the freshman quarterback Fitzgerald to do a whole lot of that because of that reason right there, or, or Langford probably would have been all over him. Okay, now they punt here to Andre Richardson. Let's watch this. Okay, now he – see, he breaks a lot of tackles. There's a lot of guys that miss him. Now, we see, we've got the ball I think, right on the, their 45-yard line, but we, we block – I think we'll get pushed in the back or some kind push of thing back, like yeah. that. Now we're going to get it at, what, our 15, 17-yard line. So that's a huge swing in field position right there. Thompson breaks off a pretty good run, comes back and, and gets stuffed right here. But – <clears throat> this is where we can certainly get better at those sorts of things. We try to run a reverse to Denson and, and don't get anything out of it. They've got it well defended. Uh, their defensive people really do a nice job. They always have. Okay, Tony comes back, play action. Here's this corner route again. That we got to hit that. I mean, we had it open. They just got to throw and catch it. Uh, and he'll normally hit that throw. He normally throws that ball pretty well. Uh, uh, Greg Ivey proved he was human, didn't he? After yeah, he did. Great yeah, yeah. He shanked one. He, sure, year. he mishit it. It wasn't just a complete shank. He just kind of did miss hit the ball. And he is kind of one of these guys as a perfectionist. Every time he wants to hit it, he wants to hit it uh, 50 yards, which is a good job. Okay, they they hear their back. Solomon White breaks up in here again and, and makes some yardage. All right, they run the other one in here and, and make, they're hitting more That's cracks crazy. than they ought to hit. In all honesty, in here, you got to give them credit. And, and then we're, you know, we're wallowing around a little bit. We played uh, Alamu Bailey, big number 32, who, who's a linebacker who came in way overweight. He's lost 28 pounds and is not the finished product, but he, he's, he's, we're getting a little something more out of him, which will help us down the stretch run. So you see Tulsa has driven the ball now down to around our 10-yard line and, and again, run it better than, than we should have let them. And they run this and don't make anything. Um, now they come in, kick a field goal. It's, it's, it ties the ball game at, at 10, so it's just nip and tuck. And, uh, Oklahoma State 10, Tulsa 10, into the third quarter. Okay, now obviously they have gotten concerned about our return game, kick off short. Jeff Grenier, one of the fullbacks, gets it and makes a pretty nice little run up to around the 40. Okay, we come out and hit the, hit the little quick toss to, to Chris Lofton over there. Nice pickup of about nine. Come out, we had to check to something here. And, and Andre got the, we had the freshman tailback in. And Tony did a nice job of just getting what he could. Now, Andre's running up in there, doesn't make much. But, uh, okay, here we toss it to him again. And, and he's a nice run here, Andre Richardson. Uh, I know I sound like a broken record on this, but this youngster out of Dallas Carter continues to excite us and everybody involved in the program, I think. And, and again, he's, he's next year he'll even be better than this. You give him a, a year in the weight room, but certainly going to be a factor. Okay, tried to go deep on him here with a little out and up. Uh, they grabbed a hold of it, or holding was called. So we've, we've got it down there again on their end of the field. Uh, for I, I've said this before, for his, and they stuff us right here for as much yardage as we had rushing. You ought to get, you got to get more 301 out of it. yards. Yeah, you got to get more points out of it than, than what we got. All right, at the end of the fourth quarter now, it's a tie ball game, and it's, it's typical Oklahoma State and Tulsa. We've got it now down there into the field. <clears throat> Excuse me, try to go deep again. To Denson, we, we, we keep on thinking, we, and we have in every other ball game, gotten a big play in throwing games sure. to Denson. <clears throat> now, they grabbed a hold of him, call it, come off down in there, turn around. Here we got Andre Richardson. Turn around, toss to Andre. Uh, nothing there. He is a guy, though, that really does. He's, he's one of these doesn't hardly get knocked back. Now he hits a little crack, and you can see what no, he's, he's all about. First, first touchdown for Andre Richardson. I have a slight suspicion it will yeah. not be his last before his career is over with. But, 73 uh, yards rushing for him out of your tailbacks, Pat. I mean, and again, you've already yeah, addressed right, it in this show, but right. people are going to be saying, how are you going to do it? But, hey, 219 yards out of that position. Well, that's where, again, I think we're making some strides. You know, obviously our, our better football teams around here were focused around that tailback position. And, again, we still got to be able to throw the ball to take some of the heat off them. But I can see some sort of rotation developing. When we had, again, Thomas and Sanders, we had let Thomas, because he was a veteran guy, start and play a couple of series and then put in mm -hmm. Sanders and then literally let him rotate somewhat depending on the nice hit Eric Cobb, depending on the tone of play. I can see that coming at some point with these two guys here because they're both pretty productive players. Again, I thought during the, the course of the evening, 
<coughs> pardon me, and, and Tulsa did a nice job but with, the, with their ooh, big hit. That here, is here. a highlight. They Hobbs is having it. a good year. I really, really, really proud of him. But You talked uh, about him yeah. uh, with the press after the game. Well, he's a guy that, that is not an unusually gifted guy, but, I mean, but he, he really prepares well, studies the game well, one of our real leaders. Nice job there against their running game. So uh, we had a little blitz on. They hit it. Uh, uh, not much. Trent Fisher gets them down. Uh, this uh, Fitzgerald's going to be a good quarterback. Uh, that'll be an interesting he versus Andre Richardson for the next several years. We stop him, uh, force the punt. Uh, they come out here and, and hit this. There's two good punters. Ball gets into the end zone, so, so we, we've got it now with the lead. Now, we don't make anything. Right, and then uh, we go to, to their next series. Yeah. Okay, so this they've got it down here. Now, if we had a, could have gone down there again, if, 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 and, and, and gotten something down, you thought you could have probably got the game over with. Sure. We couldn't. Uh, Fitzgerald did a nice job here, uh, scrambling out of bounds. They come in, going back, and here's that little old shuffle pass that kind of pestered us throughout the evening. Nice job on their part. Even in the latter stage, see, we've got four, five, six guys around that football, so I think defensively, I don't really think we wore down a great deal. I, I, we, we probably put too much pressure on our defensive unit right down there to the end, again, which we'll see, and you can't ever tell what'll happen you get in that position, but okay, pretty good pressure here. For not having, for not sacking him a great deal, I thought we had people around him pretty good. They're in their uh, spread out deal. Nice catch here by Kedjo. This guy's going to make some catches against us. A uh, pretty good receiver. Okay, run Solomon White in there. Nothing, nothing cooking here. There's a pretty big, this is a big stop that's, this, that's going to happen. You know, okay, this is a called run on their part. Saw SMU run this little play out of the shotgun here a couple of weeks ago. Apparently they've put it in. Now they come back and here they go. He drops the ball, picks it up, throws it out there overthrows the thing. Here's a big play, fourth and six at the Cowboy 12-yard uh, line. There was some debate, obviously, on whether we had caught that ball. Certainly we yeah. didn't because they didn't spot the ball. He comes, this fourth down play, big play right here. Bang, good job, men, of hitting him and holding and keeping him from getting the first down. And watch this measurement and uh, coming up, and you'll see what a great job it was. Well, we've got, again, see, somebody's hitting him right after he turns loose of the ball. Let's get up there and turn him and knock him back. Uh, again, it, what it came out, let's, uh, you know, there's that chain brought out there. Okay. Okay, we hold them right there. And this was with 4.10 four left to go in the four, game. Four minutes and 10 seconds left in the ball game. Really crucial. We try to do something with it if we can. Good job, David Thompson. This world's those offensive linemen, the fullback and the tailbacks, got to try to take this ball game over. He jumped outside. Thompson did and almost got loose down the sidelines on them. This is where I was pretty proud of our offensive linemen for competing. I thought we, as far as competed and threw our bodies at them pretty good in here because if we get stuff with the three and out, they're going to get the ball, the thing with, with plenty enough time left. Almost did anyway. Okay, good job, David Thompson. Here we can see there's nothing fancy here. Watch Joe Jefferson spin out of this. Again, Joe's had a good ball game. Okay, we got third one. This is what we got. You make this, game's over with. We run in our victory offense. They jump in goal line, which was smarter in their part. We get hit in the mouth. Now, they're forced to punt. They're going to good punt, Greg Ivey. We got good coverage. Uh, everything's good down in here. Watch this. We've got them pinned up in here. Good job, men. Uh, 31 seconds 31 left. seconds left. Obviously, they're in a two-minute drill. Uh, Fitzgerald, I thought, did a pretty nice job of, of scrambling around. Come on, fellas. Now, we just, just stay away from it. You don't need to be doing that. See, that's a bit. 15 yards more right in here is extremely crucial. We just got to be smarter than that. Wasn't, wasn't uh, flagrant. We just got to be smarter, okay? Little low out cut. Uh, stuff like this again is going to be antsy. He's going to make you antsy. Throw it up in front. Don't let him get in behind you. We weren't. We did not really go into a prevent. We were playing a softer coverage, sure. but it wasn't. As, and we got to still get a little bit better at this. And all honestly, you, what you want to do is get a couple of sacks and get it over with. This is the next to last play of the ball game. He throws it out there. They make a nice dab. Okay, four minutes, four seconds left. Last play of the ball game. Okay, uh, throwing it out there. Throws that ball around there. Hard to tell right there. We get a little bit better uh, look at it. Well, actually, it's not hard to tell. I could see it from all the way on the other bench area. I saw the guy waving his arm, so it's not hard to tell. That's exactly right. It is absolutely. I set you up, didn't You I? set me up. That was, right. I mean, there's, in all honesty, you, this is going to go both ways. I got on our coaches last week for trying to officiate instead of coaching. You know, they, 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 they got guys in position right there. Off of here, game's over. See you next year, Tulsa. That's exactly right. Final 17-10, another thriller down to the end. We're back to stir up some memories for you on our feature. Well, a last second victory over uh, Tulsa this past weekend, a thriller. Let's go back to another thriller as Tom Dorado takes us on a feature look 10 years back to December 28, 1984. First down. 
25 yard line. Over the middle, complete the tight end Hannah again inside the 10 yard line and Hannah tries to pull his way in and does for a touchdown. That was truly one of the real magic moments in Oklahoma State football history. Many of us can still vividly recall that exciting night in Jacksonville, even though it's been 10 years since the Cowboys posted that dramatic win over South Carolina. This past weekend, members of the 84 Gator Bowl championship team returned to Stillwater to celebrate once again a great finish to what was a great season. I didn't expect to be so um, emotionally overtaken by coming back here and seeing these guys, many I haven't seen for 10 years or you know, since we graduated. And after 10 years, I need to make a confession that I was struggling desperately to get out of bounds to stop the clock. The touchdown was just an accident. At least Hannah was honest about that. But now I, the, we had told that group. I remember telling them in the in, the, in our Thursday night meeting prior to that ball game that you, you know you, you, we'll have a reunion. Uh, well, there are actually two reunions that went on here on campus. I, the 44-45 group who went to a sugar and a cotton bowl had their 50th reunion. We had this 10th reunion with this crew here, and I, we told them they, that these are the special things about sure. f football and, and intercollegiate athletics that you know these things tend to become a little bit more important as the years go on and and the relationships that are made and, and like Barry said how special these things are George Wolstead our defensive line coach and I are the only two and the trainer Jeff Fair that are still left on the staff but you know, that's my first year as the head coach Jimmy Johnson's left uh, it really really uh, a neat evening it was and we got a big week coming up North Texas State and we'll be back to talk about it next week see you next week all right goodbye everybody <laughs>